In this video, I'm going to continue to look at solving logarithmic equations, and we're still going to use the one-to-one uh, -one property and the inverse property, as well as rewriting the logarithm. And I think for most of these, I'm going to just rewrite the logarithm into exponential form to solve these. So I'm going to look at probably six examples here. Uh, the first one we have is the log 5 of x equals 1.4. And keep in mind, this is the common log because there's no base. So remember, this is understood to be a base of 10. So that means we're going to rewrite this. So we're going to take the 5x now, and that's going to be equal to the base, which is 10. And of course, then the 1.4 is the exponent. So once again, remember that when we're rewriting this, the 10, this is read log base 10 of 5x, so 10, once again, is the base. And when you take the log of some value, you're finding the exponent. So when it says log of 5x equals 1.4, the 1.4 is the exponent. So that's why we're able to say 5x equals 10 to the 1.4 power. So now we have 5x, but we are looking for x. So that means to get rid of the 5, we have to divide both sides by 5. That way the 5 will cancel out to 1, so we're left with 1x. And then you have 10 raised to the 1.4 power divided by 5. And this would be your exact answer. And if we want to come up with an approximation, we could put this into the calculator where we would take uh, 10 to the 1.4 power. So 10 raised to the 1 point. And again, depending on your calculator here, you need to put uh, possibly parentheses to be safe, the 1.4 as your exponent. So now we want 10 to the 1.4, and we want to take this whole thing. So make sure now you're out of the exponent, and you're going to divide this by 5 and we get an answer of 5.02. Okay, so there's the answer. And so what that says is the log base 10 of 5 times 5.02 is going to be equal to 1.4. Now we have 2 times the natural log of x equals 7. And once again, before we rewrite the problem, we want to isolate. In other words, we want to get the natural log of x. You want to get the logarithmic function by itself. So here, to get ln of x by itself, we're going to divide by 2 to cancel that out. So we have to divide the 7 by 2 as well. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. So that would be 1 natural log of x equals 7 over 2. And once again, keep in mind, when you see the natural log, it's understood to be a base of e. So when we go to rewrite the problem, our, we're going to take x is going to be equal to the base e raised to the exponent of 7 halves. And once again, this would be the exact answer. So we could go to the calculator to find the approximate answer. And we would take e, so second ln, so that gives us e to a power, and we want to raise that to 7 divided by 2, and we get 33.115, so I'm going to round that to 33.12, and that's your answer. And the next example, we have the log of the square root of 2x minus 3 equals 2, okay? So once again here, if we're going to rewrite the problem, just as a reminder, we know the base here is 10. So if we rewrite this problem, this means the square root of 2x minus 3 is going to be equal to base 10 raised to the exponent, which is 2. Now when we go to solve, we need to solve for x, so we need to get rid of the square root. Well, to get rid of the square root, we have to cancel that out by squaring both sides. So if we square both sides, the square root and the square is going to cancel out. So we're going to be left with 2x minus 3 equals 10 squared squared. And if you don't remember, uh, if I go over here to the side, if you had something like x 
squared, let's say, again, raised to the third power, when you have a power to a power, you're going to multiply. So 2 times 3, that would give you x to the sixth power. So for our example, we have 10 squared squared, so 2 times 2 is 4, so we would have 10 to the fourth power. And then, of course, we're solving for x, so we need to add 3, so that would cancel the 3 out, and we would get 2x equals 10 to the fourth plus 3. And then we have to divide by 2, so we would have x equals 10 to the fourth plus 3 all that divided by 2. And there's our answer. And at this point we could go to the calculator and enter this in. Keep in mind when we go to the calculator we need to make sure that you put parentheses around the entire numerator and around the entire denominator. Now because there's only one term in the denominator we really don't have to worry about the parentheses but it's a good reminder. So if we put this into the calculator we would type parentheses, 10 raised to the fourth power. Okay, then we would say plus 3 and close the parentheses. So all of this is our numerator divided by the 2. Now, because it's only one term, I'm not going to actually use the parentheses, but we're going to sit there and divide by 2. And we end up with 5,001.5. So in this case, we come up with an exact answer of 5,001 and a half. All right, the next example. 10 plus 3 times the natural log of x equals 5. Once again, we want to isolate the natural log of x. We want to get the logarithmic function by itself. So we have a 10 we need to get rid of. We need to get rid of the 3. Well, the first thing we want to get rid of is the 10. So to get rid of the 10, we would have to subtract 10 from both sides. So we're left with 3 times the natural log of x equals 5 minus 10, which is a negative 5. And then to get rid of the 3, it's multiplying, so we're going to divide by 3. Once again, the 3's and 3 would be 1. So that leaves us with 1 natural log of x equals a negative 5 thirds. So now we have isolated the natural log. And once again, just as a reminder, that means our base is e. So if we go to rewrite the problem, that means x is going to be equal to the base e raised to the negative 5 thirds power. So there's the exact answer. And then we can find the approximation by going to the calculator. And we would simply take e raised to the negative 5 thirds power. And we get approximately 0.189. Alright, the next example. And hopefully you're starting to get the hang of this. So now that you can maybe pause the video and see if you can work this example on your own. Uh, here we have 2 times the log base 4 of 1.2x equals 7. So once again here to start, we want to get the logarithm by itself. So that means we need to get rid of the 2. So we're going to start by dividing both sides by 2. So 2 into 2 is 1. So we'll be left with log base 4 of 1.2x equals 7 halves. And now we're going to rewrite the problem. So that means we would take the 1.2x. That's going to be equal to the base, which is 4. And the exponent would be the 7 halves. And then we have to get rid of the 1.2 to get x by itself. So we're going to divide by 1.2. 1.2 divided by 1.2 would be 1x equals 4 to the 7 halves divided by 1.2. And once again, this would be the exact answer, and we could go to the calculator to find the approximate answer. So with the calculator, we would type in 4 raised to the power of 7. And again, here, you uh, depends on the calculator. You want to put parentheses 
for the exponent here to uh, 7 divided by 2. So you want to make sure that the 7 halves is the entire exponent. And then all of that's divided by the decimal 1.2. And we get an answer of 106.6 repeating, so I'm going to round that to 106.67. Okay, one last example. Uh, this one's a little bit different. Uh, do you remember how to do this problem? We have the log base 8 of 5x minus 13 equals log base 8 of 3x plus 7. And this is using the one-to-one -one property. We have one logarithm equal to another logarithm. And we notice that the bases are the same. Okay, it's important. Both, both of the bases have to be the same. And then we can just simply say, well, if these two quantities are equal, then that means 5x minus 13 has to be equal to 3x plus 7. So all we have to do now is solve the algebraic equation for x. And I would start by subtracting 3x from both sides. And 5x minus 3x, we would be left with 2x minus 13 equals 7. And then the next step would be to uh, get rid of the negative 13. So I would add 13 to both sides of the equation. And 13 and a negative 13 here would certainly cancel out. And then we're left with 2x equals 7 plus 13, which is 20. And our final step would be to divide by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so that leaves us with 1x. And 20 divided by 2 equals 10. So here are six more examples of solving logarithmic equations. So hopefully now you're able to go back and solve these on your own.